y'all welcome back to my channel so um i have another book haul for you guys i actually just finished the last book i didn't read last week so i had to order more books to read so i ordered five books in my last book haul i had six so it's just one less but um my packages i ordered everything from amazon all of my books from amazon but some of them came from different warehouses and then some of them came on different days so that's why they're all in different packaging so i'm gonna open this one first and i know by this uh shipping this has two books in it so okay let's see so first up we have to kill a kingdom this is really nice Ooh. yes so it says in the title a princess must have her prince so we're gonna read i'm gonna read the back and then kind of tell you my thoughts i guess <laughs> i have a heart for every year i've been alive Princess Lyra is siren royalty and the most lethal of them all. With the hearts of 17 princes in her collection, she is revered across the sea, until a twist of fate forces her to kill one of her own. To punish her daughter, the Sea Queen transforms Lyra into the one thing she loathes the most, a human. Robbed of her song, Lyra has until winter solstice to deliver Prince Elian's heart to the Sea Queen or remain a human forever. The ocean is the only place Prince Elon calls home, even though he is heir to the most powerful kingdom in the world. Hunting sirens is more than an unsavory hobby. It's his calling. When he rescues a drowning woman in the ocean, she's more than what she appears. She promises to help him find the key to destroying all of siren kind for good. But can he trust her? And how many deals with Elon have to broker to climate human's greatest enemy? obviously princess lyra and princess elon are gonna have a thing it's just the way things are set up and then it's definitely gonna be like an enemies to lover type scenario since she's a siren and he kills sirens but i'm definitely interested in this i mean i this was like on Amazon when you like type in books it gives you like other people who bought this book but da, 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 da. and when I bought um why can't I think of the, oh House of Salt and Sorrows this was kind of like under the recommended so that's why I chose this book and I read the description and I was like you know what this sounds a bit interesting you know sirens or whatever so that's why i picked this one i am excited it's definitely something i haven't read and something i don't have in my small little growing library so this is going to be interesting and then let's see how many pages it has it doesn't so it only has 342 so i mean depending on how fast i would like to read this i could probably do this in a day just to show y'all um or break it up into two to make the book last a little longer but i am excited for this and it says the price on here is 10.99 i'm pretty sure i did not pay 10.99 for this i'll put the price on the screen because i don't have it written down and i don't have it off hand and there is no receipt so i'll put the price to this but as always ordering books on amazon you can get them for cheaper i always say that and then the second book i have in here is ninth house um 
It's by the same author who has written the Shadow and Bone trilogy, also all of the books in Grishaverse. I have recommended, um, no, I don't think I, I don't think I've recommended any of them, but they've been in a couple of my videos because I've read them. And then um, in my last book haul, I did get two books from her that are part of Grishaverse. So I did choose this book because she's the author and I've read a bunch of her books and yeah so but I am going to read the back so y'all can get a little taste of it so Galaxy Alex Stern is the most unlikely member of Yale's freshman class raised in the Los An Angeles Hitherlands by a hippie mom Alex dropped out of school early in a world of shady drug dealer boyfriends, dead end jobs, and much, much worse. In fact, by age 20, she is the sole survivor of a horrific, unsolved, multiple homicide. Some might say she's thrown her life away, but at her hospital bedside, Alex has offered a second chance to attend one of the world's most prestigious universities on a full ride. What's the catch and why her? Still searching for answers, Alex arrives in New Haven, tasked by her mysterious benefactors with monitoring the activities of Yale's secret societies. Their eight windowless tombs are the well-known haunts of the rich and powerful, from high-ranking politicos to Wall Street's biggest players. But their occult activities are more sinister and more extraordinary than any paranoid imagination might conceive. They tamper with forbidden magic, they raise the dead, and sometimes they prey on the living. So that sounds very intriguing. Um, I did like the plot, that's another reason I chose the book, but also for the author, Leigh Bardu. Um, and then this kind of reminds me a bit of that show on Netflix. I can't think of the name right now but it has like werewolves and people who do magic and it's a secret society so that's another reason I'm kind of interested because I have watched like shows with secret societies and I find that quite interesting and there is another book I read I think I'm pretty sure I recommended it but Legendborn it has a bit of secret society in that as well and I always find those pretty interesting because who doesn't love a good secret society but I am interested for that and yeah the author is great just putting that out there because I love her and I love Grisha verse so got to support so ninth house and ninth house is actually she's looking pretty thick might have to take a little minute uh I'm trying to see how many pages because this has like discussion questions and stuff so this says 462 close to 500 I definitely will be breaking this book up um and the price on this says $17.99 I don't think I paid $17.99 I might have but I think I don't think I did because this is paperback and paperback is cheaper than hardcover so again I'll put the price on the screen because I don't know right now um then I have this one that I'm gonna open and the rest of my packages just have one single book that was the only package that had two books in it. Okay. So here we have Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Um, I did like my last book recommendation video was based on like Disney kind of magical that type and this fits in that um, realm. But the author of this, she has like a whole Disney type series called The Lunar Chronicles. I do plan on reading them, but this isn't in like The Lunar Chronicles. So I didn't have to read that in like a particular order. So I did choose the book because of that. But I will read the back so y'all can see what it's about and go from there. Catherine may be one of the most desired girls in Wonderland and a favorite of the unmarried king, but her interests lie elsewhere. 
A talented baker, she wants to open a shop and create delectable pastries. But for her mother, such a goal is unthinkable for a woman who could be a queen. At a royal ball where Kath is expected to receive the king's marriage proposal, she meets handsome and mysterious Jess. For the first time, she feels the pull of true attraction. At the risk of offending the king and infuriating her parents, she and Jess enter a secret courtship. Katha is determined to choose her own destiny, but in a land thriving with magic madness and monsters, fate has other plans. So if you haven't figured it out by now, Catherine is supposed to be the queen of hearts. I think that's explanatory, but it's basically giving you her backstory, I believe, and just how she ended up how she did like when when Disney did Maleficent's movies and basically gave her backstory and how she ended up to be what she did which is just a really misunderstood person that's basically the plot of this kind of giving you her story and what she had to go through so I am interested I do love a good Disney retelling I am a Disney fan so yeah and these if you can see on the back these are some of her books from the lunar chronicles which like i said they're all on my list but it's gonna take a while to get to them because there are a lot and there are a lot of books that i have to read and that are on my books to read list so we're taking it one day at a time basically but yeah i am excited for this just i love a good like I said, I love a good Disney retelling. I think she's going to be really good. Uh, yeah, just from like everything I've heard, because I did hear a bit about her on TikTok, like some of the books people were recommending um, and things like that. So it's exciting. Uh, let's see how long this is. Because it's pretty thick, but depending on how big the writing is, it might not be that much. So, okay, I'm not seeing page numbers. So, we have 450 pages, which is close to how many it, there are in Ninth House. So yeah, definitely we'll be breaking this up. And then I just want to show you the back as well. It just has more of her books. I don't want to open this too much because I hate creases and paperbacks but yeah it just shows you more of her books and everything so and then the price on here says $11.99 I paid less I paid like eight something for this um I'll put the price down below okay <laughs> next I have this box up the last two are actually by Leigh Bardu as well. Um, more books of the Grishaverse. Okay. So, and they're, the books are part of a duology. And, oh, this is beautiful. So I love hardcovers. Okay, wait. So this is actually the second one. So let me, because I want to show them in order. So that's actually the second one. This is the first one. So I'm going to open this one and show you all that one first because it's the first book in the series. Oh, they're beautiful. This one didn't have bubble wrap. Okay. Wow. So this is King of Scars. Look how beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love this. And just like I said, Grisha Verse, these are more of her books, which I have all of these except for the last one on my bookshelf. Y'all can't see, but there's a bookshelf right there. And Oh, the Grisha book. They're there. Um, <laughs> so I am going to read so y'all know what it's about and then check out the second one 
because that's the one I opened first, but I did want to show y'all the first one in the series first and then read that one first just so things can go in order. Face your demons or feed them. The boy king, the war hero, the prince with a demon curled inside his heart. Nikolai Langstove has, ooh, has always had a gift of the impossible. The people of Ravka don't know what he endured in their bloody civil war and he intends to keep it that way. Yet with each day, a dark magic within him grows stronger, threatening to destroy all he has built. Zoya, please excuse me if I butcher this because I probably am. Zoya Nazanski has devoted her life to honing her deadly talents and rebuilding the Grisha army. Despite her magical gifts, Zoya knows the Grisha cannot survive without Ravka as a place of sanctuary, and Ravka cannot survive with a weakened king. Zoya will stop at nothing to help Nikolai secure the throne, but she also has new enemies to conquer in the battle to come. Far north, Nina Zinnik wages her own kind of war against people who would see the Grisha wiped from the earth forever. Burdened by grief and a terrifying power, Nina must face the pain of her past if she has any hope of defending the dangers that await her and the ice. Um, Ravka's king, Ravka's general, Ravka's spy. They will journey past the boundaries of science and superstition of the magic and faith and risk everything to save a broken nation. But some secrets aren't meant to stay buried and some wounds aren't meant to heal. So I started getting excited when I read about Nina because I actually just finished the um, Six of Crows series. I finished that Saturday and that's where like Nina's story is told and how it ended it was a little hmm pitching your feelings so i am excited to hear that nina's story is going to continue in king of scars and you do need to read the grisha books in order or you're not gonna know what is going on so like first you need to read the shadow and bone trilogy and then read the six of crows trilogy and then you can read the king of scars trilogy because all of these characters are basically introduced in um the shadow and bone trilogy so yeah it helps reading that one first and also uh shadow and bone has season one on netflix and it's very accurate to the book so i would recommend watching that and it's also been renewed for a season two so it's pretty great already knows what happened but it would be great to see the live adaptation but yeah so i'm very very excited also i didn't say but zoya zoya's character is also in the other books but it sounds like we're gonna hear more from her and get a little bit more of her character so yes that is very excited this is a pretty thick book so it might take me a while let's see this has 511 pages it isn't too bad um crooked kingdom which is the second to six of crows actually had like almost closer to 600 so it's not that bad but yes king of scars beautiful and the second one to the king of scars duology and also the last book i have for this book haul is rule of wolves and She's actually really thick. Just let me show you in comparison. King of Scars and then Rule of Wolves. Um, again, another just beautiful, beautiful cover. And then on the back, it has more of her books. And on this one, I don't have this book, this book, or this book. I have all the others though. So. Uh, let's see how many pages. This one has, this one has 592 pages. Might as well, she could have went to 600. But um, I know this one's gonna take me a hot little minute just because of how many pages it has. But I am excited and I'm not gonna be reading it for y'all because I have not read the first book and I don't wanna spoil the second book for myself. But you did hear about the first book so it should make you want to read the second book because you always want to find out how things end but 
Yes. Beautiful. So I am excited. Um, pricing. It says $19.99 for King of Scars and then it says $22.99 for Rule of Wolves and I know I didn't pay that price. Um, I will have the prices below. I know I did pay a little bit more because they are hardcover. Um, and hardcover is always more expensive. But they were on sale. So that was always great. And I did get them on Amazon, which makes them extra cheap. And these are like, I bought them. Let me just say, I bought these in hardcover because this is like the newest. So it doesn't actually have a paperback. And I didn't want to buy this one in hardcover and this one in paperback. So I had to buy them both in hardcover. And it just so happened when I did, they were on sale. So it all worked out. You do what you got to do. And these are actually the only two that I have in hardcover of the Grishaverse that I currently have. But yeah, and just to show again, Ninth House is also by Leigh Bardot. So all three of these books are by her. And then the other two books, just to show again, um, Heartless by... Marissa Meyer and then To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo I believe sorry if I'm butchering names but those are all the books I have for my book haul today look at these beautiful bro what is up with me I'm like dropping everything but I caught them because I'm not damaging my books that's what I'm not gonna do but that is the end of this video for now I mean these should last me okay let's see this one will definitely maybe a day or two days this one I'll split up for two days um ninth house I'll probably split up for two days and the last two are probably going to be like three days each because those are so thick. And yeah. Um, so I should be good for another five weeks. I'm going to say five or six weeks because I do like to read a book a week. And it just makes me have to slow down on my reading. And also helps me save money because books are expensive. <laughs> so I do save money that way if I limit myself to one book a week but since my last two books I did show were pretty thick who knows it might stretch me out to six weeks but that's it for this video for this book haul I will be back um with another book haul video when I have to restock on books again but this is the end of this video if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button down below. Peace and blessings, my loves.